good day tubes how is she hanging so pretty good here and that guy up there was singing my tune so i thought i'd you know better get him on today's video it's kind of neat i heard him coming from way off i'm like oh it sounds like a helicopter what is that sometimes from way off we get so many motorcycles here it sounds like a like a harley coming down the road this guy definitely wasn't a harley but uh he was whipping along pretty good i don't know what he was so some kind of helicopter some sort of some sort so you know it's, we don't have to see that too much around here you know helicopters flying over there's been one i think it's a private guy that's been flying over this summer quite a bit flying around and going different ways and stuff and uh, and stuff so thought i better better grab him while he's going by good opportunity and uh, away we went so uh today i went to princess auto uh, you know i've been looking at these springs and stuff and uh, that one on the trailer now, the ones we have there are only a three spring. I think they were. Hopefully they were. <laughs> and uh, we went and got some other ones here today. So we're going to have a little look at them. So just before we look at that, uh, if you remember, I had two traps here. I had two traps. Now I only have one and my big electric trap. I took one trap out and put it beside the food station out here. And the next day I come down, I think it was yesterday, I looked and I'm like, uh, where'd the trap go? Oh, the trap disappeared. So I don't know if I've got something a little bit bigger than a mouse in here, but I put it down, down and beside the trap. And now it's gone. So, yeah. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was a chipmunk or something in here. I don't know. I guess a chipmunk might get in that little wee hole to get the food out but the food hasn't been going down much lately so in that trap so yeah so anyways we got some springs some princess auto specials let's just went over there and grab them i was going to mail order them but i'm like you know what that would probably cost more for shipping just for to do that than me just to go get some so these ones should fit uh they're the same width a uh, little thicker a little thicker uh with the the extra I think it's this one here on the bottom is the extra one. I don't really know what it's going to do. It's going to make much of a difference. I guess it just kind of helps support the rest of these a little bit more, you know. Gives her gives her a little bit more spring that way. Um, so I've got two of them, of course. Hopefully they're the same. I never really line them up perfectly. Oh. Oh. They're not bang on exactly the same. That's interesting if you line up the eyes here anyways This one doesn't seem to have as much arc as the other one. I don't know if you can see that or not but See the it's Sort of hard to show you that but there's a little bit of a quarter inch little lip there Can't show you exactly But uh, I guess if you line them up like this then So the centers are, are, are the same. I never really should look at that a bit closer I guess but Look at the difference here now. I hope that, that doesn't make our trailer sit weird. Shouldn't, I don't think, make a huge difference. But it should be, should be all right. So we got some other stuff here too. Um, just in case I had trouble with my U-bolts, I got uh, some, some NAR ones. They're only 12 bucks a piece for each pack. So uh, those should be, should be good. So I got two packs of them, of course, because you need two on each side. And uh, they've got factory grease on them, that's why they look kind of grimy. And I got some other stuff here too, just in case I have problems with the uh, shackle bolts. Those are the ones that go through here. Go through the shackly things there and then on to the other other side of the, the spring. I got like, some more of them too. They'll probably come out alright, but you never know, right? I mean, that trailer's never seen salt and crap from off the highways, right? So, I also got... <laughs> Some other things here. I don't think it's a rat I've got, but wow, I've never seen a mouse actually carry off uh, unless he just got like his foot stuck in it or something. So we're gonna give the mice or whatever here a good uh, a good trial. So there's some uh, high impact kill bar. Oh boy, power kill. I'll have to look at all these after. Now last but not least, I probably won't use these, but uh, I really don't like the idea of the glue traps. Because that is pretty cruel, you know, having something stuck there and squealing for like four days until they die. That's not very nice, so I won't probably use that. But uh, another cool little thing I got, I'm like, oh, that's cool just because it's cool. 
It was like 12 bucks too or something. Mini Animal Trap, Princess Auto Special. So I want to grab a tripod here. We'll open this uh, fella up. Come on now. And uh, we'll have a look, see at this thing. It's pretty small. I looked at like a sample one in the store and uh, she was pretty tiny, so. I don't know why the mice want to live in here, because I, you know, I don't keep food or anything in here, so it's a nice place to get out of the rain, I guess, and out of the shelter, into the shelter. So, you probably have to have pretty small hands to uh, bait this thing, but uh, I don't think a little mouse is going to be able to squeak out of a hole that size. Or maybe, oh geez, they might squeeze out the door here though, I, I don't know. There's like a little hole there, they might, I don't know, it's hard to say, it's pretty small. Um, okay, so, let's see what kind of view you guys have here. Let's try that. So, how does this thing work? I presume that's actually the way up. Oh, geez, she's already falling apart on me. Back over, and that back over a bit. So that prevents the door, I guess, from opening again where it is now. So that needs to that can't be exactly right. Walks in there. Let's simulate a little guy in there. Hmm. I think the trick is to get both of them to go down, but that one's that one didn't go down the way I wanted it to. So let's read the Deweys because I haven't done it right, I guess. That's closed. Looks like they want you to lock this this one down first. What? Boy, their illustrations aren't the greatest. That thing's right up there. So that's got to be the up spot there. So if he walks on there now, what happens? Boy, he's going to... I don't think that mouse is going to trip that off. Yeah, see, this didn't, this didn't fall down right either. <laughs> this may not work exactly quite as planned. This is more for like a chipmunk, I think, this thing. I wonder if you can just set it up with the one side. Because, you know, they're going to find the one way in. You don't really need both sides activated I wouldn't think so we'll leave the one locked so he walks in so if you put your bait maybe back here on this side you have to walk through and then he'll get nailed I, I think a mouse would get out of this honestly I think they'd, uh, they'd be able to push up through these top things and then out he would kind of go it'd probably hurt a lot but Kind of think that. Whoa, sorry. They should have uh, made these a little closer together. This this top piece should have been a little bit longer because I think they would maybe squeak out of that. Although they might feel a sharp, and they're like, "Oh no, I can't get past that. That's gonna hurt." I don't know. We we'll just have to bait it with something and try, I guess. 
but uh, sort of different. Let's try uh, setting her off with just uh, this side. Put that just under there. That's a heck of a ramp on that thing, so we could have to climb over. Yeah, that actually wouldn't work. That side doesn't trip it. Trip it good. That would work. So if he walks in, doo -doo 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 -doo, baits down here and he steps, bang, you're caught. Well, I don't know, I think kind of a mouse might get out of that, but uh, I guess it might be worth a little shot. We'll have to get something to put some peanut butter and stuff on. We'll jam it down this other end here, I guess, and uh, hope we go with it. So, it's funny they show both ends open here, but I think you can just do it with the one end. Anyways, there we go. So, hmm. these I wanted to uh, check out too, see how brutally awesome they are. Rat trap's just silly. Should probably. All plastic, eh? Wow. Good cool Victor, though. Well, that's that's kind of good. So, how the heck do these ones work? Hey! Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so I guess he walks up in here and Jesus, that's good. Wow, we. So <laughs> he just uh, bait in the little hole thingy here, and then uh, I guess he walks on her and. See you later. So I'm gonna maybe mount this a couple of these, maybe do a little piece of plywood. They've got screw holes here. Alright, now which would be the best way? Probably like that. And I'm thinking one maybe there. And I'll put that along the edge of the wally thing there, they'll run across and then wha-bam, wha-bam, maybe we'll get two of them tonight, I don't know. So these screws are just a hair little bit big. Try taking them away now, crump heads. Ain't nobody got time for that. Should work pretty good. Okay, I think what the thing is, the mouse has to come across the lean up on this pad thing here, so they're probably won't even get a taste of the the yummy stuff here, so. Geez, those set really nice, I must say. Shotgun. All right, so yeah, seeing none as I haven't caught any mice in here, 
I'm going to put these out in the other side. Let me grab some bait. Okay, so just in case. Whoa, geez, sorry. Just in case they do get a little further ahead, I'm going to actually put some of this poison bait stuff in here. Boy, I don't need much of a piece. <laughs> Pardon me. Woo. Okay, just some little bits. Guarantee they likely won't get that far. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Yummy. No mouse can resist the peanut butter. I must be part of the mouse because I love peanut butter too. So we'll make them, ooh, geez, not that much. We'll make them think, wow, this is awesome. We need to come here tomorrow night for dinner. Now, I cannot eat this peanut butter. I cannot eat this peanut butter. Because now it is laden with poisonous flavory stuff. Okay. So we'll set this. Set her and forget her. Oh, those are awesome. Pretty damn, pretty damn easy there. Come here, those are... Oh, no, no, no. Ah! And then there goes your finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these down. How sensitive are they? Oh, one went off. Oh, this one went off, oops. That's pretty sweet. I think those are awesome. So anyways, I'll go put these down out there. Maybe we'll have some fresh, whatchamacallit, tomorrow. Okay, I got that one baited too. I might just stick it somewhere else out there, maybe along the plywood or something. Maybe one of them will run in. I think I figured out the thing here finally. That's uh. That's it there, if you can see. So as soon as she trips, it flips off this guy, and this guy lets go too. So let's just pretend we're we're tripping this here. Um, oh, where are you? Sorry, I gotta back these up a little. Whoa, the other way. So do 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 do. Buddy walks in, trips, bang. Way she goes. So should hopefully catch something. I think they'll probably end up squeaking their way out of it though. Okay, and last but not least, this really dangerous thing comes on like a huge hunk of pine. I mean, that's pretty awesome, but holy, I don't know, I'm scared of rat traps a little bit. Rat traps scare me a bit. There's a lot of potential power stored up in these things. Look at even the size of the frickin' uh, little clip they put on here just to hold the, the bar there. It doesn't actually even do anything. This thing you just pull out. I think that's a frickin' massive piece of staple just for that. Silly! Just silly. Oh man. The power behind this thing is just ridiculous. <laughs> I feel really bad for any rat that gets himself stuck in that. Um, boy, what can I put in there that I can sacrifice? Uh, uh, hi! Uh, geez! Oh, man! That is freaking insane. Wow, and these things you can make even hair trigger ish if you adjust the little the dewey here, if you bend it out a little bit, it's even less, less sensitive or more sensitive, I guess you would say. Wow, do I want to hook that up? 
I don't think it's a rat I've got a problem with here, but you know what? I got some bait here. Uh, maybe I'll put into it and then just set it up out there. <sighs> These things scare me pretty good. So uh, I just got a chunk of stuff from my lunch here. It's kind of not maybe the best of stuff, stuff but uh, it's kind of hardy-ish, -ish, hardish. A little big, big yet too, maybe. maybe like a nice gooey thing that stays on there, nice, but. Uh, there. We'll treat it to some exterior bait too, so it makes it a little harder. You can just imagine a mouse getting involved with one of these, eh? Just load her up. Give them lots of opportunity. Should be good. Wow, well, I think I might set that up when uh, when I take it out. I'm not gonna set it up here. Okay, I got another package of hair <laughs> to kick up at the mail place. Sometimes they leave them, but if they need signatures or if you owe money on it, sometimes they'll just leave you one of these little ticket things, and you have to. Uh, Go pick it up. So, man, you guys are going to think all I do is buy stuff and show you stuff every day now, but it just sort of kind of been ended up doing that lately. I don't know why, but uh, the way she the way she is, right? So, uh, I mean, one of these days we'll actually do some kind of project, I'm sure. I've actually got in the back of my head, I want to build, believe it or not, another mini X bucket. Uh, that package there, too. I think I know what that is though. That came in the mail. That was in the mail today. See, they leave that, but the one from yesterday, they wouldn't leave. So it's like, really? Uh, but anyways, mini X bucket. I'll just sort of briefly go over that with you. I want to build something. Oh, well, it's kind of hard to show you. But something that's more shaped like an excavator bucket, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard to explain where, I'll have to show you some pictures. Um, Let's just fire this guy up here for a second. I'll just get it up out of the trailer. Mm -hmm. Better put my tea over here. Um, so, you know, I don't really need another bucket for this thing, but something that I've been kind of thinking about a little bit. I just don't exactly know how I want to do it yet. Um, but basically, To me, this one seems kind of shallow. Actually, hang on a sec. Let's. So, just imagine that this is uh, this is the ground here. So this thing's sitting on the ground. I want to make it come, basically curl over a little more, but have a bigger butt on it. We'll say instead of a short butt like this one, I want to make it come come out and then curl in more so it holds a little more every time I take a scoop. This one's not bad, but uh, I mean for the little cremation holes it's good, but I've got to do quite a few more scoops with this one where I could have a little bit uh, bigger, you know, they kind of they kind of come out and then curl and then kind of come into it's, it's sort of weird. We'll have to look at some some pictures later on if I if I remember, but um, I mean, this, like I said, this one works fine, but uh, I just need, uh, I want to try to build one that's a little different shape. It's got a little bit more of a back to it, but then bring this back up a little further, you know, so it'll still hold a fair bit, but um, I don't know, it might not dig right, it might not, I might not like it, so, uh, but that's my, what was my thinking? Look at it, it's just running out, it won't start. Silly thing! Whoop. That's my uh, my thinking anyway, so yeah, but anyways we got traps set up. Look at that guy there. 
little metal guy. We got the big rat trap here. Still got the bait station, so they're probably going to come back here tonight. And then we got these two guys here. I guarantee those will be at least one of them gone tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe both. I don't know. Uh, but these guys, they got so mad with this little trap here. They actually ate the little peg right off too that um, holds the stuff. I'm like, really? You little rats, literally. But uh, oh, it smells like diesel in here now. Blech. But anyways, uh, I got to run over and grab that little package. See what it is. I think I know what it is. I hope it's my lock pick kit. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're back. Or I'm back. We're back. So I got a couple parcels to open, of course. Here. Uh, This one, I think, I got this from Amazon. I believe it's, uh, I think I know what it is. I'll show you in a sec, we'll open it up. But I do believe this is my lock pick kit. <clears throat> Took forever to get here too. I really think they should have like a regulation on how long stuff should take to get to the customer kind of thing, right? This was like, well, how long have I been talking about this it's been geez at least at least three weeks it's gotta be maybe even more I don't I don't know <clears throat> so uh, yeah this is a little lock pick kit something I've always been kind of interested in and uh, been wanting to learn how to pick locks just not for anything like crime wise or bad but you know it's always intrigued me as how they work and stuff and I've kind of learned how they work <clears throat> now I want to be able to uh, you know could come in handy if someone's locked out of their car or say in Walmart oh, I got this little kit I can I can fix that for you <clears throat> wow so it comes with a lot of little bits and pieces and stuff it's gonna take a little bit of <clears throat> messing around for me but uh, that's your little torque tool there so you put that I'll show you I'll try it I'll try it after but I, I, I guarantee I won't get it right off the start there's another little torque tool here a little wee guy that's what this is where you put that in your lock and you just put a little bit of torque to it and then you you go in and you manipulate the pins inside with one of these usually so you can get inside and feel the, the pins and apparently to do it you have to <coughs> put enough torque <coughs> Pardon me. Put it, jeez. Put enough torque, or just enough torque, on a lock. So on the. I'll show you after. This is the lock here. Gives you a practice lock, clear lock. It's cool. Um, and then you just go inside and you feel for the first tight pin. You push that one up. Then you feel through the other pins. That's a tight one. That's a tight one. And then eventually it'll get them all, and then she'll open. So uh, that's why I got this little kit because it come with this lock as well. Because, you know, normal locks aren't clear, right? So you can't just sort of see what you're doing. But this will give you a little bit of uh, a help to uh, figure out what you're doing, figure out your, your technique and stuff. So that's kind of cool. We'll have to look a little bit closer at this. Man, i got to pick the lock first to uh, huh, to get this to open. But also show you, shows you the cool mechanics of the lock. So that's kind of cool. We'll have to get that into a vise. <coughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of practice, and maybe I can, maybe I can pick her. But uh, this I needed since I changed my cameras. I think that's what this is. It's uh, oh, pull, pull tab to open. Oh, miss the tab. Um, since I changed cameras, I have to use a normal size SD card, and uh, the card reader I've got. Yeah, that's it. The card reader I've got is really slow. <laughs> Yesterday's video, I think it was yesterday, the day before, was a little long, I do agree. But uh, it took like 40 minutes just to read the, the files and transfer the files from the cards. So I'm like, holy crap. So this is a 29-in-1 USB 3.0 card reader. So that'll plug into my USB 3.0 port and then I'll be able to uh, get the files off a way lot faster than uh, my normal card reader. I figured it would have been fine, but it's kind of crappy that it works too well, so it's really slow. <laughs> Where this, I don't know if they'll give you an actual speed rating on this, but 5 gig a second. That's pretty fast, so I think my other one was, well, I, I don't know what speed it is, but 
it took like almost 40 minutes just to read the files off. I'm like, holy, this sucks. So, in here should be... Twenty-nine and one card reader. Yeah, that should work pretty good. So that I can just leave plugged into my USB port. It's not a very long cord on it, but I've got extension cords anyways. So, so what do we got here? We got uh, CF card. I don't think anybody even uses those anymore. Those great big ones. We got an MS uh, MS. I don't use one of those either, but the ones I'm interested in is the SD card over here. And it's got the, the real small micro card reader too. So 29 and 1. It's not really 29 and 1, but I, I like the 29, so 29 and 1. Okay, so <clears throat> I guess that's that. <clears throat> I need to go empty my garbage out. It's all full of cardboard and garbage and junk and stuff. So I'm gonna go play with this lock. I've been waiting for this for a while. And if I manage to do it, probably only once, I'll uh Try to replicate it for you, but it's going to take a little bit of playing around for me. But I'll get you, see if I can get you in fairly close here. We can have a look at this. So there's all the uh, mechanism. I, I forget the, the names of everything now, but there's the pins and stuff there. you got to line up. And if you can see down in here... They're different lengths, if you notice. They're different lengths, these pins. Oh, this camera's not focusing nice like the other one did. There, and you can see the different lengths of the pins. So, let me get you set up on the tripod, because I'm going to need my two hands here. Hang on. Okay, so it's going to be a little tricky to show you this. But uh, basically, the bumps and the valleys on your key here line up with the lengths of the pins in here. <clears throat> which you'll see in a second here all of a sudden they'll be perfectly level right so your keys right in and then your lock opens so what the idea is here is to <clears throat> put that little bit of torque on it there with your tools and then go in and feel the, each little pin in here for the tight ones until you get them all perfectly lined up and then bang she should open so it's kind of cool. I'm going to go mess with it see if I can pick it. Okay, so we just got her mounted in the vise. <clears throat> there's, uh, there's the key, so we know the key works. Okay, actually I should probably switch this upside down. Come on! Come on then. <clears throat> okay, so you'll be able to see whoop, upside down now to me. All these little pins. And there's the last one. And boom, she opens. So <clears throat> pardon me. I'm gonna try picking this now. Now which way? You have to make sure you go the right way. So I need to yeah, towards you guys. So we'll just put this little torquey tool thing in here. Okay. And this is our little nose picking guy. I'm going to try this one. Holy crap, I already got it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? An arsehole like me? <clears throat> Able to do that? <clears throat> you got to be kidding me. Just so you don't think I'm tricking you here and putting a spare key in. So that's a little torquing tool. So let's do it without the torque tool. So you can see how these pins, they move, right? But you need this little bit of a torque tool just to put a little bit of, a hair little bit of tension to it. Not in the right spot there. I'm just barely pushing on it too. Now I can't get it. Hang on, there's maybe a better tool. They have a raking tool here apparently too. It looks like this guy. 
I can't believe I got that so fast the first time. That's the little rake tool, apparently. See what slides in and out there really nice, so. <clears throat> so we'll just put a little bit of torque to it. I feel like these ones here need to go first. Okay, now I'm not having so much luck. I had better luck with that first tool. Let's see, maybe it was this end I used, I can't remember. So torque it. Having better luck with the first tool. I think I'm going to switch this. I just got to double make sure I'm going the right way too because, yeah, okay. So everything's locked. Definitely these ones up here are giving me grief. And there's this one here, it's tighter. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Holy freaking crap. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> so, now that is kind of cheating, but if you put some black tape or something maybe on that, it wouldn't be quite as easy. Now, do I have another actual lock, lock, lock that I could try? Um, I do. I have a lock, lock, lock. I just want to try this guy once more here. I might have to switch batteries here too. A few minutes. Wow, I can't believe how oh, crap. How simple that actually is. Now I don't know if you could if I could pick houses and stuff too, you know, like house locks. So there's a better tool here that's a little smoother. I thought this one might have been better. There you can see the pins have gone down too far. So I'm trying to line all those pins up the same. I want to try to get you in a bit closer too, maybe. Far, and then the pin goes down in too far. Hmm, what's this other? Yeah, that one's a little bigger. See, if I'm putting too much torque on it, I can't get those ones in the, the first, second, and third pin to move too well. <clears throat> and if you get too far away, I guess start again. Boom, hoping. <laughs> That's awesome. Sure doesn't take much. Let's see if I can get you in a little bit closer here now. Okay. So she's locked. I actually want to watch this too. Uh, I could almost probably watch the screen. <clears throat> so let's try the raker tool here again. Oh, that raker tool works fast. Holy crap. Wow, let's try, uh, boy, there's a lot of different different tools here to try, too, like this, this shape to one. It seems to be biting in a little harder, so it's probably not the best kind. You need a nice roundy kind of one to fall over stuff real nice, pull over the pins, because they are kind of 
straight shaped, you know, so, or uh, not straight shaped. They got a bit of a point to them. That one's really tight there, there we go. Probably just this last one and that's it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, now that was fun to be able to see it. This might be a little different not being able to see it. Let's bring it back out here a little bit. So I gotta turn it towards you guys again. So not being able to see it <clears throat> might not be quite as much fun. I think this is actually too thick of a torque tool. Well, maybe it's all right. It's all by feel too, right? You can feel the pins moving in there or not. This one might pose a little more challenging for me anyways yet until I get a little bit more of a technique down to it. Feel how far in it is first. Oh. See, I don't have the skill of being able to really feel the stuff properly yet. I had them turn, I had the pins down, I could hear them clicking there. Yeah, I don't have that the good feel for all the pins yet, that's the trouble. Let's listen here. No, I didn't have any of that time. Quite a thing to be able to feel. Be able to feel where the pins are and stuff. There she goes. <laughs> Holy freaking crap. I can't believe I did that. That's awesome. <laughs> I feel so awesome now that I've actually accomplished that. Don't know why, but... Let's try that again here. Oh, way faster that time. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Holy freaking crap. Whoa, I cannot believe that I picked that lock <laughs> that fast. Oh man, that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. So now you guys should probably send me locks, see if I can pick them for you. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. I don't think I got any extra ones down here anymore to pick. Actually, let me just look around. You never know. Okay, this is a really old lock. I think they used it on the gate here way way back it's actually was somebody cut her once so they just rewelded it instead of just buying a new lock a little crazy so we're gonna try it oh, I'll show you how wore out this is too look at the look at the key on this one 
there's not a whole lot of key left, so it goes in and opens, and then the whole shackle comes out. That's how wore out it is. It's like, wow, you wouldn't have thought of maybe going to maybe buy a new lock or something. So that needs to go that way. I gotta turn towards you guys again. Oh, I didn't seriously think this was gonna be this easy. Like I say, for for an arsehole like me to be able to pick a lock that easy. Nothing secure no more, boys. Mm. Okay. Let's get you focused in on that. We'll just put that like that. I imagine you could probably get this down pretty darn quick. This one probably won't be that hard. Uh, it's hard to say though. It's might be a bit, be, be a bit grimy inside. They say if you uh, oh yeah, can you feel the pins in this one? Look at the grime coming out. Ugh. I'm just gonna try raking it. Boy, there's, there's not much key left, so it shouldn't be too hard, you wouldn't think. Now, I'll just double make sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> now it won't open at all. Uh-oh. She might just need a little spray. I might have just pushed the pins down. They're stuck down now. Let me give her a spray. They say WD-40 is your best friend ever, so... Uh-oh. Maybe not this time. This lock is just so... So beat up. It's so old. There she goes. Somewhat. Just the pins are a little bit angry inside there look at the grime coming out I'll just blow some compressed air in it too maybe okay I this is must be really wore out inside of here oh it even goes in the wrong way <laughs> it is working just there's a bit of crap in the pins but I don't think she'll have much of a problem now Maybe it will, I don't know. Might be the worst lock ever. Nope, <laughs> apparently not. Wow! <laughs> Less than two seconds. Now it's gonna give me a little more, more grief. It doesn't feel right at all in there now. So I got a door here that's got a lock on. I wouldn't mind trying it, maybe too. Oh, these pins feel really tight still in here. Feel the pins in there, they're so wore out. I need something with a little bit more ball to it, maybe this guy here. You can hear them. Four, I guess. Can't believe I got it so fast before. Why can't I get it fast now? Poor old lock, eh? <laughs> it's probably two hundred years old. Don't 
feel it without torquing it. They just feel so hard. These these pins feel so hard in this thing. Make sure I'm going the right way. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. I just can't seem to feel them very good at all. Just hold it. Geez, that shouldn't take very much to pick that because there's not much left of that key, which means the pins are just as wore out. I was thinking the raking should get it pretty quick. Definitely a skill, you know. Dilly's coming to watch me pick locks. Right? Yeah. Picking locks. This poor lock doesn't have too much left life left in him, Dilly. Well, I picked him a few times, but for some reason now, I can't get him, but I think he's just so wore out. It works with the key pretty good. It's not the greatest, though. to stump me here, but um, I think he's just so wore out. Or I'm just not using the right tool. Well, Wally, you're wore out. Sorry, we'll just cut you. Okay, we're going to let Dilly try his lock picker in skills. Okay, Deli, so what I learned is, yeah, you got to put that, nope, yeah, in there. You might feel more comfortable maybe doing it with this way, though. So you can just kind of hold a little bit of tension like this on the lock. Not not too much, just a little bit. And then you got to go in and feel those pins. Nope, the other way. Flip that up so it hooks up. Oh, no, sorry, you were right. You're right, I'm wrong. My bad. So, yeah, go in there. See where you're going. Yeah, you got a feel for a lot or a pin that's you can see them in here. You can see them moving. You can't do that in a normal a normal lock. So you gotta go right in deeper and then see where one feels like it's it's tight and then push it down. You have to play with your torque a little bit though when you feel that pin, just so you don't bind it up. So if it gets bound up in there, it won't go. going in more too and feeling the other pins so you can pull back out if you don't feel like you're in right. 
See them moving? Go ahead and put deeper into it. These other pins further back. I can't. Yeah, you should be able to. Just go oh. up and over like that. So you're already lining them all up. You only need that one more, that last one there. There. Lock pick. <laughs> <laughs> Dilly picked the lock. That's crazy. Woo, Dilly. Yay. Woo, Dilly. <laughs> pick the lock. That's awesome, eh? Yeah. Holy. Picked. <laughs> Sweet. Try it's, again. It's really easy. Not well, easy when you can see it, isn't it? Yeah. Should try doing it without looking at that. <laughs> if you, I think if you could do it with your eyes closed, more more of the feel. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Okay, well, I'll let you know in a little bit here what happens with these guys and uh, and all these other ones. Uh, definitely lots of traps set. Um, you may not hear from me. Well, maybe tomorrow-ish. I'm not sure yet. I have to go down to uh, the hospital where my stepdad is right now doing his more intense rehab down in the city and pick him up. He's ready to come home, so he... Um, was pretty good actually when he went down to this place but they've kept him there for about four or five days and it was supposed to be eight weeks that's what he's done he's they i guess they say no you're you're good you don't need to be here for this so uh have got to go and bring him home tomorrow so that's good he's getting along really well so quite a little shock shock to your system i guess there so hopefully everything later on is all right which i'm sure it will be but yeah we got to go pick him up tomorrow but um I don't know exactly what time I'll get home from that. We got to get them at nine o'clock in the morning, so it'll be maybe a little later until I get home. So, but uh, anyways, I guess that's about it for today. Uh, I am still thinking about building another Mini X bucket, so that'd be kind of sweet. We never looked at that. Darn it! Ah, uh, hang on a sec. We'll go have a quick look at them on the computer here. Oh, I also forgot to mention <laughs> that clear lock. I had her down to three seconds until I had her open, so that's kind of sweet. Um, three seconds flat. Dylan timed me. Should have recorded it, but I didn't. I figured you guys maybe seen enough lock picking. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> three seconds flat, and uh, it started to get fairly easy there. So. He was getting there pretty good. Now the master lock had a little bit more trouble with it. Not because I couldn't see it. It's just I couldn't seem to feel inside. You're always putting the torque on it. And you're feeling for that little pin that's stiff. So you try to push that one down and then bang, 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 bang until you get them all. I couldn't seem to feel anything on it that was stiff. And I was putting a fair bit of torque. So I, did, I just have to develop that uh, feel, I guess, the feel of... Um, tension and stuff in, in it you know so um, okay so let's look up this um, okay I don't know what I'm gonna be able to compare mine to um, mine is sort of kind of more like this guy here like that one sort of not exactly quite exactly the same but it's really short like it's not comes it doesn't come out from the the, the, the bend real far like a long way I want to build something for the little mini X if I can get a good side shot of one kind of like this guy here 
like with a little bit more of a, a butt to it and then come back up to where the bucket so you don't lose kind of your curl power there because if you go let me think now from my experiences if you go too far away you'll lose curl power i think it was you're better to try to keep it down closer but have a wider out the back if i can remember right like this guy ooh, there's one here there's a rock ripping bucket yeah i don't need that that's pretty cool though um boy boy uh, uh kind of like this guy maybe you know where it's got a little bit more out the back kind of sort of thing there's so there's kind of what mine is now if you kind of get the idea where an excavator bucket will have more of a more of a butt coming out if you know what I mean It'd be nice to get some together like this one here so you can see how it kind of comes out more right so you hold more material that way um, Wow that's a weird one there holy so there's another fairly good example there where it's kind of the front shape of mine actually but it's got more of a, a rear to her we'll say this one's got a lot of rear Ooh, crap this one here it's a lot of rear to that one <laughs> I don't think I want to go that far uh, but you'd be able to hold you know another little bit into it right so I don't know whether I want to build one just do her or if I want to um, do one out of like cardboard papery stuff first just to see how I like it and then use that as my templates um, just something like even this one's even more like that's got, I said drawing, but it's even got more butt to it. Um, just a different profile. That's kind of cool. Separator Dewey. Hmm. But anyways, that's sort of my... There's a pretty good one there. So you can see it's got, instead of just coming up like this like a round thing like this it comes out and then back up and around that's sort of what I want to do something like that give me a little more volume but you can't come out too far because when you go down and you curl that little bulge is gonna hit into your hole I think that's like it'll hit into the bottom of your hole and may not curl up right there's so much geometry to this stuff you know to get things shaped right and get the ears shaped right and and uh, the right distance up and around the front or back of the bucket if you put it around the back of the bucket it'll make it open up more you know if you put it around the front closer it won't open as much as in let's see if, okay so this would be a good example here so if you put these ears back further it'll open the bucket up more yeah because this hole which is your your curling pin hole there would be back down here more so it would pull the bucket up more now it won't close as much but now if these were further over the bucket which you don't think you would do um, it would uh, it would uh, not uh, open quite as much so you got to make sure you get all that right too right so most times I think it's they put the ears right over like the top Let's see if I can find another little picture yeah so like this one here the, the ears are right over top of the bar so I mean you could make these come over further you know and that would open it up more or vice versa right so let's see if we can find one that's different again they all look like they're see this well it's all the different shapes of the buckets too right so this one here has a real big butt on it so you know it comes way out holds quite a bit more material there that's what I'd like to do but um, this one here too is really good holds another half a yard just in there probably in that big thing holy so but not exactly like I need another bucket but I've been kind of wanting to do something else for a little while this one works good though like it works fine that I, I built for it but something a little different there's a good picture of a diagram so you can see the ears don't come too much over the front of the main bar there right so it's all the it's all the geometry of stuff right so yeah but um yeah so there we go future project
figure something out. Something with a little more butt to it. Now I don't know exactly know how I'm going to do it yet. Just bring the bottom plate of the bucket out further and then curl it around a bit slower maybe and then bring it up and then kind of curl it back down or something. I, I don't know. See this is like a, sh a short profiled one here. It doesn't come over the top too much, right? And there's not a whole lot of butt on it, so. Um, boy, there's some different ditch digging buckets and all this stuff. It's kind of neat, eh? Don't really have a use for that. But, uh, yeah, so I like the profile shape of this one, though. It has a lot of extra butt, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so. Um, now, let's just look up. And just for just for fun. Grave digging bucket images. Now these are a lot weirder shaped, they're a lot flatter. Now, I don't really understand why they they use them like this. Oh look at this dig grave digging picture. You might recognize that. Yep. That was me. <laughs> um, like they're really flat, weird looking buckets. Um, <laughs> I haven't found a really good picture of one yet. Ooh, I like that. Ripping. You get rip with it. Frost and stuff. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> Special buckets. Yeah. But anyway, it's just uh, another project I've been sort of kind of wanting to uh, to do and stuff. Material separating buckets. There's a one with a hole in the side. That's kind of weird. Grave digger, <laughs> the monster truck. Yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, really see too many pictures of that sort of kind here, but. This, uh, I think it's made by whites. They're like a they're like a weird scoop thingy. But see how much further they've designed this one for the, the pin to be over the bucket. So that would technically make it open wider. It should, anyways. Um, where was that weird one here? Like these guys, they're, they're really sh flat looking ones. It's really strange stuff. But I don't know. There's another real flat one. Definitely different. Anyways, future project. Anyways, three seconds flat. <laughs> I picked it, that's because I could see it, but this one was just about three minutes. It was weird though, I couldn't feel the pins. So anyways, that's pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> A little scary, really. Um, but anyways, I guess I better head her home and stuff. We'll catch you later. Um, woo. Ooh dark in here. Probably turn the heater off a bit. And uh, yeah, it was a wet kind of crappy rainy day here. Looked like most of the day. I wasn't here for some of it because we were out for Princess Auto getting stuff there, right? So one of these days we're going to do a lot job too. Switching springs. Um, shouldn't be too bad. I just have to uh, get a couple of jacks, jack stands under it. And uh, basically take the wheel off with the gun, spring off, spring on, spring on, bolts on, away we rock. So, uh, yeah, but anyways, yeah, so we'll let you know what happens with these friggin' traps. We'll see. And crap, I already forgot my little SD card reader. I would've got all over the house. Frig! Forgot the card reader. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, anyways. Man, I hate this time of year. Look at, look at how cruddy it is, you know? And you know what? The wind's coming from the south westish kind of way across town here because I can smell the perfume stuff from the garbage bag plant. There's we got a uh, glad garbage bag plant here in town on the far side of town. Ooh, I should try to pick my uh, garage door locks. That wouldn't take much. They're only uh, one. They gotta be more than a two-pin key, maybe a three-pin key, I don't know. 
Uh, but anyways, <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah, so I can smell that perfume from over here. That's how much they load into them. It's like, wow, we garbage bags, eh? Just to make your garbage smell better, I guess. Oh, it's really strong, actually. Ooh, kind of smells like a beauty salon, <laughs> almost, sort of thing, so... Anyways, uh, yeah, so we got to pick up uh, my stepdad tomorrow. Apparently he's all good to go, so discharge tomorrow and go home. You're good. Wow, friggin' a month ago he couldn't uh, walk or speak hardly or uh, swallow. He was having trouble swallowing. So I guess that's all good now. You wouldn't let him out if it wasn't good. So, yeah, that's frickin' he's lucky, man. Holy jeez, let me tell you. They, uh... They did the uh, scans on him, and they must have scanned him again down, because he's down at the hospital where he had the MRI scan done. So they must have scanned him again and says, you're all good. But the uh, arteries, I think it was, that was, it goes up to feed your brain, uh, the blood to your brain. One was 100% blocked, and the other one was 80% blocked. Freaking lucky. <laughs> Holy jeez. That's pretty clogged up. So it was pl uh, plugged up with plaque, they said it was full of plaque so he's gonna have to do a bit of a diet change he's not a big guy or nothing but just years of I guess eating wrong it's catched up to him catched up to him caught up to him so uh, yeah but uh, I guess he's good to go now so I freaking can't hardly believe it but he was good like I say before he left here so yeah but uh, oh now we're down back at the house I was gonna mention something else in the garage but anyways if you wanted to have a Christmas card um, hung up on our wire dewey down there at the garage. If you want to mail one out, that's just perfectly awesome. If you don't, that's fine too, whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, we'd see if we can fill up that, um, wire thing down there with a bunch of sweet Christmas cards. So, if you want to, like, no pressure, you don't have to, whatever. Um, whatever you like. So, whatever's easier for you guys, I'm good with. So, yeah. But, uh, anyways, uh, gotta get rocking. And, uh, can't believe I'm a master lock picker, literally master lock. We picked a few times there. But that other one that's clear, that's freaking easy. Holy jeez, that's freaking scary. I'll have to try to pick some of these ones now, you know, and see if I can get into my house. They're maybe a little bit more difficult, but um, you never know. It's hard to say, it's the same exact concept, you know. Just put a bit of torque to that uh, lock tumbler y thing there, I think they call that, and uh, start feeling the pins bang away she goes so now these are uh, wiser locks that are the rekeyable ones you can use any wiser key mm. as long as you have your original key as long as you have like this is from my garage that's the same sort of lock down there so I technically could lock key my all my locks together the garage up here and everything so as long as you have the same key you open it you push a little dewy pin into that little hole and you pull pull that key out put the oh sorry put the new key in and then turn it back up and then your keys rekeyed it's pretty neat how they work actually i've had one of these apart it's pretty freaking smart and uh maybe one of these days we'll pull a lock apart and show you but uh, there's a lot of disassembly in them so but anyways that is it for today thanks again for watching have a good day and we'll catch you later. We'll see if we got anything in those traps down there. Sweet.